Welcome to Weld.com. I want to do a two-part thing here real quick. Uh, I say real quick. I want, to, I want to do half of this piece of pipe, 6-inch Schedule 40, and I want to send it up to our x-ray guy, uh, and I want him to shoot a uh, film of it, of this section of pipe that I'm going to do. I'm only going to do half of it for speed because he's getting ready to go home, and I want to catch him, and I want to do this on, on camera, and I want to get this film. Then I'm going to come back on the second series and do a 3 8 plate and do that well. And I want to bend test this one to the root side. All this has to do with the root simply because we had a lot of people come out recently on a, on a post that we had put out, some weld that we made or whatever. And man, oh man, downhill root will never pass x-ray, never pass bend test. Uh, I'm sorry about your luck. I've only done it thousands and thousands of times and so has everybody else across the country running pipeline. I don't know where you guys come from when you sta make statements like this, but I'd say you want to get tuned with the world. Having said that, let me ask a question. What if you ran the route horizontal? I, what difference does it make? What direction you run a route? You know? Downhill, uphill, horizontal, 6G, who cares? If, if the root is in there, it should pass x-ray and it should pass bend test. There's all kinds of specs, certs. We run 6010, 7010, 8010, depends on the grade of pipe, plate, material. I understand that, you know, like the Navy and some other people would want all uphill, that's fine. But I, I, I guess I just don't understand the hatred in some of these people's comments. And by the way, when I'm saying hatred, <clears throat> I'll just give you fair warning. When you come on Weld.com and you use the F-bomb, I'm either going to make you famous. If you tell me you're an AWS inspector and you start using the F-bomb, I'm going to send it straight to AWS and make you famous. You guys need to knock this off, really, seriously. There's just too much hatred going on. And some of your comments, you know, good discussion is great but coming on with the calling people names and getting political and using the f-bombs and all the nasty language not going to cut it with me i'll warn you one time i'll ban you you will join the ranks of the ban forever i might just make you famous i might pull your name off and go look at your profile and make you famous how about that I, you know come on this is all about education and helping people so, you know, we don't always do it right. I make mistakes, you know, and I, I fess up to them. There's things I'm still learning. So in any event, we want to get into this downhill procedure. I'm going to have the x-ray guy shoot over here. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do some downhill stuff on this. Hey, we've done uphill. We've done plenty of uphill. Uh, MIG, flux core, all kind, 7018, all kinds of stuff. So we, you know, again, it doesn't matter what direction to us. We teach it all because my, my kids are going out doing all kinds of stuff. They're going out on pipeline, railroad. Uh, they're going out doing uphill, downhill procedures all the time. That's why we teach, try to teach it all. Keep an open mind. Let me get my gear on, I'll be right back. Welcome back. Did a couple of things here. I didn't want to burn up my favorite beautiful sweatshirt, so I found me a nice Iron Cat Fire Stop jacket here. I'm gonna run off of Esau Renegade, and I'm running 6010, eighth inch 6010, I'm going to set this up to 60 on the crisp side of it. I'm going to run 85 amps. I've got 6 inch Schedule 40, uh, slightly, but a little over a 16th in uh, root face, and I've got about a 16th root opening. A couple of shout outs here. Oh, 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 oh. Iron Cat, Aerogel, love them. Had fine gentlemen send me in some wedges here, these stepped wedges. These things are pretty cool. I interviewed this gentleman in uh, Canada during Fabtech up in Chicago. Pretty tough wedge. Uh, you, I just barely use the tip on the pipe fit up like this, but these things are set up for 332nd, 1/8th, 532nd, and 316th. We get to doing MIG and TIG, and I want a 532nd gap. I just set that in there and go to town. Cool stuff. All righty, I've got to find me an electrode holder here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Let's use this one. Pretty sure my ground is set up. Boy, I hope it is.
All righty, let's go. I'm gonna run my second pass in on on here in uh, eighth inch 105 amps. Okay, I'm getting ready to see uh, x-ray guys over here. <clears throat> and uh, again, this is all about the root. The root's in there just fine. I need to go to capping school again. It's been a while since I've done some downhill caps. Uh, we, did, we did a fair amount in our uh, pipe welding class last semester, but not enough to really stay in practice. I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit, go see the x-ray boys, and we'll follow up with the uh, results. Okay. We did a quick section of a downhill route because we've had numerous people say that downhill routes will never pass x-ray and I don't know where that came from because I've only done it a gazillion time, gazillion, you understand this number? I mean, we, I did it a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch when I was out in the field and stuff. Obviously, it's been a while since I've uh, really concentrated on doing my, making my caps pretty. I never really could make them super pretty um, like a lot of guys can. In any event, we're concentrating on what's going on with the root. So I notice we kind of shot this film here. We're looking at this right here. What's our, this is like so what I had to do, elliptical thing yeah, here. I, okay. had to, I had to butt that pipe up to my source to kind of get something to go like that so that we can separate both sides. Uh, I got you. So I I'm got you. viewing that bottom side. And it blew out and distorted this top side, which that's we're... fine. I just wanted that one section that mm -hmm. we concentrated on from like 12 down to 536 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So this is it then. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, walk us through here, okay. right to left. So and we've uh, got a neat feature here. I can get a little magnifying glass going. And, and so that darker, no, that whiter area is going to be more material. So that's right. where your root is, right? Right. And then the rest fills in with the cap. And notice we're looking right. for... Stop right there. The, these little blown out white things, yeah. those are like blown out pixels on yeah. your repeatable that's, film. That's on okay. me, yeah. We're, we're, we're training folks and, and handling film properly is one thing that takes some time to dial in. Gotcha. Because <laughs> I'm interpreting my own shot here uh -huh. I'm, I'm getting a little nervous you know don't be uh -oh. i'm here for you so uh what we're looking for is dark lines along that route any inclusions porosity fusion type things penetration looks great i mean you got some solid density going through this just like if your bone during an x-ray mm -hmm. is white then the rest of the tissue is not so this is not good lord what is this now that's that, my fault is that your film yeah, yeah, yeah. okay because it's outside of your welding Right. See, I'm thinking white dots. I automatically think tungsten, tungsten inclusion or something super dense. Mm -hmm. And then I, you know, we're not, no, it we're stick welding. Up, yeah, that would show up something like that bright at you. Gotcha. So we can see your penetrometer across here. Yeah, that's so if I can see, I think this called out for a 16 thousandths wire and which is the third wire within this set. As a minimum, I have to be able to see that to be able to call a flaw or anything. Gotcha. So we're kind of, we're kind of blended in there and we threw a root in there. Should be good. Sweet. See, I'm not so bad after all. Well, no. I keep trying. I'll get better. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, I really appreciate you shooting this for me. It's no trouble. And, uh, you know, we do the ups and downs and all that kind of stuff. This one, this one was, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't uncomfortable with the root hot pass or any of that stuff. It's just the cap to me. I got a little, it got a little squirrely on me and, mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, uh, hopefully we got some good film here. This is clean and we don't have any, uh, you know, we didn't miss. We didn't miss an edge. We didn't leave anything behind. So we're welding hot and fast and that's what downhill welding is all about. So I don't know how it got started that it never passed x-ray. That was like strange to me. When I, when I read that, 
I thought, oh my goodness, you have to be kidding me. Where are these, why are these people saying it? So there's a lot of things that shoot, yeah. you know, it's well, the integrity of the material. Work, you know, yeah, you maybe make, they yeah. couldn't pass that. Correctly. Uphill, but, downhill, horizontal, it, I, you know, it doesn't matter. So in any event, <clears throat> I hope that was educational. I learned a little bit here. I need to go back to capping school where I can make my stuff look pretty on the outside. But this was all about the root. Really appreciate you shooting that for us. Mr. Garrett Bickery, NDT instructor with Cali College. I'm Bob Moffat. Thanks for watching Weld.com.